Hey lads, Kanish here for another rankings video. Um, you know, I'm really excited to get the season started, despite the uh, kind of diseased free agency policies we have here um, in the SSE. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to get down to brass tacks. I know you all have like 19 AZ nude uh, tabs open, so um, I don't think... Uh, number 10 is going to surprise anyone. It's Hot Boy Summer. Um, Jimmy, I think you spent the whole offseason thinking of the uh, fantasy name this year. Didn't spend any time really studying, or else you probably would have known that uh, Melvin Gordon's going to be holding out for a very long time. Um, and Kareem Hunt suspended for the first 10 games or whatever and uh, isn't guaranteed to have a job when he comes back. So I hate to break it to you, bud, but um, you also are starting Matt Breida and Tari Cohen, both of whom I, last time I checked, are not starters on their respective teams. Um, so, you know, obviously I love Tyree Kill as a, as a fantasy guy, um, but I just, um, yeah, this team sucks. Sorry. Um, coming in at number nine is going to be Megatron. Um... You had to see it coming. I mean, I think, honestly, like, you ended up really in better shape than I was expecting you to after you got absolutely fleeced uh, by Nick uh, pre-draft. So I uh, hats off to you, honestly, because I think you drafted as good as you could, given your picks. Um, obviously, it's great to have Saquon, but after that, I mean, I, I just hate your wide receivers so much. Like, lock it is on a really like a low volume passing attack. I know he's going to be like the only guy there, but I just, as a wide receiver one, I think it's, it's really tough. And a Rob just, he's got to show something. Um, he's just not the same player he was in year one. Sorry. And I don't think Mitch Trubisky is going to really change that. Um, okay. Uh, number eight, Honestly, it's got to be the Czech B team. I mean, first of all, you name your team the Czech B team. Um, you know, I don't know what you expect, but your offense, your team is running through the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and that's just, that just doesn't bode well for your fantasy team. Sorry, I think your wide receivers are just probably the worst in the league honestly I think I mean Galladay is like obviously I like him but he you know Stafford's shown absolutely no preference um for a clear wide receiver one there he's not going to be a consistent wide receiver one for you and Godwin obviously I mean there's just too many mouths to feed there in Tampa Bay I think and, I mean, I think you're kind of saved by the fact that I think Austin Eckler is going to be a really strong wide receiver or running back one while uh, Melvin Gordon's out. So I think it's going to mitigate some of that. And obviously, Kamara and Cook are really good. But outside of that, I just really dislike this team a lot. Uh, number seven. Too Husky for Sandusky. And I really, really wish I could have put you lower because that is just like a fireable offense, that team name. Like, honestly. I think um, we've kicked people out of the SSC for far less than that, to be honest. Um, yeah. I mean, I just think, you know, decent wideouts, although I, I really don't like Adam Thielen this year. I know he was good first half 2018 but he was like wide receiver 25 or something from like weeks whatever 10 on and I think that's really what he's going to be this year I think they're he's not going to be as much of a slot guy um and it's just not going to bode well for his fantasy output and I think Mixon is a tough like top running back to have I mean just in a really shitty offense in Cincinnati I think it's going to limit his upside I think he's great but 
I also think you overpaid a lot on Montgomery. Um, I think, you know, he's going to be solid, but he's going to lose passing down work to, to Cohen. And, and I just think, you know, we need to see more from him. And I don't know, Deshaun Jackson at flex is such a dart throw. Like, I mean, he's like the most boomer bust wide receiver for like in existence. And like, I don't know. I really don't think he's going to show much in year 35 of his career. Number six is weed bag. So Josh Gordon's weed bag. Um, you know, obviously some top end talent. I think, you know, Julio is going to be nasty as usual. I think Lev Bell is going to play with a fire under his ass. I mean, like he's going to do everything possible to prove that he was, you know, that Pittsburgh made a huge mistake. Um, and they're going to run him into the ground, I think, personally. But Edelman is already showing his injury concerns. Um, and and you just have no one at flex. I mean, like, I think Will Fuller is going to be good until he gets hurt. And then I just don't know what you're going to do because I really don't think Tevin Coleman's the answer. Um, I obviously love Kittle. Um, I think he's going to be great regardless of who's throwing to him. If Jimmy G can stay healthy, that's great. But um, I think he's solid, which is why I think you're kind of just on the cusp of a playoff spot. Uh, coming in at number five is um, Junta in the NQ bench. Yeah, so it couldn't have been Junta in the broad meadow student of the term. Junta and the... Uh, you know, Broadmeadow student of the semester, maybe. I don't know, but that's fine, you know. Uh, so, love, love the wideouts. I mean, Hopkins and Cooks is a great duo to have. I think um, I like Connor this year. I think the Steelers are always going to go bell cow. I don't think Samuel's going to be much of a concern for him. I don't love Freeman just because of the injury concerns. I hate Duke Johnson because he's already, I mean, they're already bringing running backs in. Like, he's not going to be, he's never going to be a bell cow. Although, I, obviously, he's a good pass catcher. Um, and and I don't think Derrick Henry's the answer either at flex because I just think he's kind of a lumbering something or other. I don't know. I just don't like him. Um, coming in at four is the SSE Fallen. So, congrats. I mean, I'm as surprised as you are, I guess. But, I mean, just some, like, top-end wide receiver talent. Thomas Beckham, Amari Cooper at the flex. It's just, I mean, I don't... I think Amari Cooper is volatile, obviously. I mean, but having him at flex is just, I mean, it's huge. He's obviously a wide receiver one talent for sure. John, his team took a hit because Mac is like really falling far down my ranks. I mean, with luck out, I don't think they're going to be, I mean, he's, his, he's statted out like a running back who is going to perform in games that they're already ahead and they're not going to be playing from ahead in most games. So I just don't think he's going to be very productive this year. Um, and I don't think what James White is going to be the answer for you fantasy-wise. But, I mean, Fournette, I like if he stays healthy. Obviously, Ryan's got all the dome games this year, which I do think is going to be boding well for him. So that's why I think you're a playoff team. Number three is Presh Mems. So we got Precious... I'm hoping to have some precious memories of um, me being firmly in the playoffs. Um, so I think best backs in the league. Sorry, I'm just going to say it. Like Johnson, Chubb, carry on. Chubb in Yahoo drafts. I don't know if you guys have taken a look. 
but he's going like sixth overall at this point because he's just so nasty. And I don't think he's going to be affected much at all by Kareem Hunt coming back and working in like week 12 onward. Um, he's just locked in and carry on at flex is like really where I want it to be. Like he's just a supremely talented player. And I think Patricia is going to be like coaching for his job this year. So I think he has to use his talented players. That's just, that's just a fact. Um, I think this team needs um, a wider, a young wide receiver to emerge. I don't think Diggs and Robert Woods, I think they're kind of a decent floor guys, but I don't think they're going to wow anyone. Um, I obviously, I prefer Diggs over Thielen this year for sure, but um, it's sort of a, a, one of the safer wide receiver duos in the league. Uh, coming in at number two, female torso. So the torso, I mean, is really one of the better all-around teams, like right down to Ertz at flex. You got, I am obsessed with Aaron Jones this year. I think he's going to be nasty. Um, and he's your running back too. So, I mean, that kind of says it all. Uh, Zeke, obviously, as of today, closed the deal. So, I mean, that just makes your team look so much better. You can move Lindsay down to flex, which I think is fine. I don't love him this year, but um, because I think, you know, the the Broncos suck ass, and I think they're going to use Freeman a lot because he's the guy they spent all the draft capital on. But to have Zeke, Aaron Jones, and also have Schuster, who's going to just be filthy this year, and obviously I would knock T.Y. down a fair amount, given that um, Luck's not playing. I still think he's going to be a solid wide receiver, too, uh, with Brissett um, as, at this point, a veteran quarterback in the league. Um, and this team's going to be good. And I don't think... I actually don't think one should be a surprise to most people. It's the Scuba Squad. I think it honestly again could have been worse with this with this trade that happened because like I mean I mean Nick had picked his whole starting lineup before I had three picks so I mean just I and I and this is given the I I actually don't like Damian Williams at all I think um, he's not going to be a bell cow in KC, but other than that, I mean, just like best wide receivers in the league on top of having McCaffrey, who's just going to be a stud and Rogers and Carson on the bench and Gordon on the bench. It's just, I mean, this is, this is the team to beat based on wide receivers alone. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, that's kind of my feelings. But um, I'm pretty sure the last time I did this, I was wrong about every single pick. So, whom's to say? Uh, all right. There's a link in the description box. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, and fuck all you guys.